Hello adventurers and welcome to another episode of Grim Plays Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. So one thing I don't think I mentioned in my last episode is we got Purdue's short sword. It was actually on this knoll right here. Uh, so I did pick it up. I almost missed it. I actually was looking because I could have sworn there was more to this area than just that wizard, but I was wrong. Bacillus is in the area south of here, so that's where I'm heading next, and uh, then we'll explore that area, but uh, I did find that the Purdue sh short sword was here, so we're going to head south to this area. You appear troubled. Does a shadow lie upon your soul? It seems so long ago that I first joined the Order. Interesting. Thinking of those days revives fond memories, even as it reminds me of those precious things I have lost. My mother gave up her own life to give life to me. Without her help, my father struggled to raise me and my older brother Gamaz. Life in Calamport is hard for those not born to wealth and privilege. When he could no longer pay his rising debts, my father was condemned to the Arena of Freedom, where he fought and died for the entertainment of the people. His death left Gamaz and me to scratch out a life upon the streets. We helped each other as best we could, begging, serving, and yes, sometimes stealing. One day, Gamaz was caught with his hand upon the purse of a Sun Soul monk. Rather than punish us, the monk brought us to the monastery, where we were bathed, fed, and clothed as initiates. From that day forward, we learned the mysteries of Salune and trained our bodies, minds, and spirits to spread her light to others. Indeed, Selune blessed Gamaz and me the day we met that monk. From that day forward, the light of the goddess brightened our existence. How may I enlighten you? Uh, that's enough reminiscing for now. We'll talk later. So, entering interesting little story tidbits. Uh, as far as character, let's see. He is lawful good. Okay, so he is a good character. So he's not going to be mad if we start gaining reputation. With caution. I was curious about that. We'll go ahead and save there. But that chicken we talked about, that talking chicken, and I believe My this is it. Will cut you down to size. Yep, there's Melicamp. Okay. Thank you, Cluck. You have saved Cluck me. And unholy magics are afoot. The chicken is possessed. The bird is foul. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. I fear I've taken too many blows to the head. Uh, next, I'll be hearing hamsters speak. <laughs> That's a reference to Minsk. Uh, forsooth, methinks that you are no ordinary talking chicken. I certainly hope you are cluck jesting with me. Indeed, I am no ordinary talking chicken, and I am in need of your cluck help. My apologies, good um, chicken. What has caused your current accursed state? Thank the cluck mother of all magic. Mayhaps now I might end this cluck nightmare. I, Melicamp of Burghost, a cluck mage, adept in the mystic, mystical arts, a misread, incan misread incantation seems to be cluck, the source of my troubling form. 
Tis been over a month since I cluck uttered a polymorph spell and I simply cannot return to my normal cluck form. Uh, is there anyone that might be able to assist you? I fear I have little in the way of magical power myself. Blast it all. Well, there is nothing else I click can expect. My ho my most hated option. There is a tower directly to the west of Cluck Burghost and... Or, sorry, about which can be found a mage to land here. I am his apprentice and I am certain he will Cluck aid me. Then to his abode shall we we shall go. I will escort you. Thank you. So okay, just to the west of Burghost. The lands here lives in a large manner there. I'll just nestle in the pack until we get there. Okay, so we don't actually have to leave right this second. So we'll finish out this area and then we'll head back to there. Um, we'll do a quick save here. And just... Because, okay, nothing except that. Ah, I always just like to check. Basilis, the uh, evil cleric, is somewhere around here. And I do know he carries a cursed item from what I was reading, so I want to be careful about picking up stuff from him when I defeat him. I don't know if it auto equips or anything like that and messes up, like gives you that curse without you being able to do anything about it. Dreadwolf. Okay, we're gonna run the other direction just in case. Okay, stop. Turn around. My blade will cut you down to size. Okay. I just want to make sure. Uh, Emma and leveled up. Okay, so we'll save that. Go to Emma and level up. She has 25 points to spend. We'll spend 10 on open locks. We'll spend five on pockets, five on traps, and five on move silently. Okay, awesome. So she's level three. That's cool. That's because she gets all that extra experience yes, for all the for searching now. I do with her and lock picking. So that's probably why she levels up faster. You funny looking. Footy. I'm spying on Bacillus and his spooks. They're funny. It's no place for a child. I've never heard of, of a funny spook before. Why are they so funny? Bacillus keeps telling them stories about how happy he was as a kid, but all the spooks just kind of moan and mumble and stuff like they're not really listening. That's what my brother Johnny used to do before he disappeared, mumble like that when he weren't really listening. You stay here. I'm gonna go tell my friend Nettie about this place. She'll think it's really funny. What with her daddy gone and all. Okay. So Bacillus is close by. There he is. <laughs> oh, brother Therm. Why not grace our ears with the ripping tale of the old days? <laughs> Always a delight. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, don't hesitate on my account. Some of the others may not have heard. <laughs> Hold your peace then, though. I remember a time back at Zintel Keep when you would sooner die than be quiet. You would sooner, um,. I'll wait till you feel like telling them yourself. I don't remember the old days so well. 
You there, what's the meaning of this? Who dares interrupt while I speak with my family? I'll have your heads if you were here to harm the... No, it can't be. Is that you, father? It cannot other be otherwise. You haven't changed a bit in all these years. Let's see. Um, yes, it's Dad, and if you want to stop all this zombie foolishness and come to Burgos with me, surely someone there will help you. Zombies? You don't see them as they truly are? You must be vexed by some sort of enchantment or another. Don't worry, though. This has happened with some of the others, and I know how to cure it. This will only hurt a moment. My blade will cut uh -oh. the down to no, back. no, no, we're not going to be able to survive this. Okay, so they keep going. So we're gonna load the quick save because there's no way I'm gonna survive that. Uh, we'll do everyone's level fellow. up. Same thing as before. We'll add five points to pick pockets, ten points to open locks, five to find traps, and five to move silently. Okay. And quick save. I've done had enough of this. Yes, agreed. Okay. I don't know what in that conversation we're supposed to say, but there's supposed to be a conversation you, you have with him that all in. those guys fall away. We've already read this once. Ah, yes, certainly been a long time. How you doing, boy? About as well as can be expected, I guess. It's has been difficult, but I've got most of the family back together. Some did not seem to recognize me at first, but I helped them recall. No matter, I've not seen you since, um, Zetno Keep. Thank the gods we all got out safely. Yes, though it was frightening for a time because I thought I was the only one of us that survived. I thought I was the only one, the only one. You lie, you lie. You cannot be my mother because she died when I left the, uh, when I... When you ran from home, leaving them to die, you are a coward and a murderer, and today you face judgment. Ah. Hmm. Really curious. I'm going to pause the recording for a second and go look. I don't want to do the wrong one again and make have to reload again. Okay, we're going to go with... We're going to go with this first conversation. It is not I who lies, but you to yourself. You rob others of their loved ones to replace those betrayed long ago. No, they lived. All of them. I saved them. They live. I ran. 
dead. All dead. It isn't true. It cannot be. You lie. You will die for slighting my memory. My will cut okay, yeah. Down That's the one we wanted. Can I use spell on herself? You're weak. I don't know what that does. I don't want to talk. Okay. Yes, oh omnipresent authority. Cast your final one on game. What is the plan? Agreed. Okay, now that that's stopped. Uh, these light, they're heavy crossbows. I don't think Emoin can not. use them. No, Emoin can't use them. I am prepared. He can't use them. You've she can't use them. Go Only Kagain, Khalid, you require aid? and Grim can use them. So, not really a point in picking those up. And then the two handed swords. Okay, so I do want to pick up the Warhammer. I'll let Khalid pick up me? the Warhammer. Um, and I'll pick up the Holy Symbol. Uh, and the Necklace. Can he use... I look forward to your instruction. No, he cannot use that. Uh, the gloves... Let me... Hmm? Let me quick save. I don't know if I'm automatically cursed when I pick these up. Yes? That's the item that's cursed. So we are not putting those on. Okay. Again? There's no point yes. in picking all that up unless I'm just going to go back to town and, and uh, try to sell it all. So let's go ahead and clear out the rest of this fog of war. Yeah, that made that fight a little bit more manageable. I think if I had not done it that way, I would not have survived. Or at least a couple of my characters would not have survived. I would have had to pay to resurrect them, which is a pain. I mean, it's doable. I have enough gold to do it, but it's just a pain. But we need that holy symbol so that we can turn that in to get the quest completed. Um, now we're having skeletons appear. I'm My blade will just... cut you down this side. Uh, let's see. Darts and medium shields. 
We'll take the darts and we'll give them to Dinah here whenever we get her as a character. So Ryan would be proud of your actions. Okay. Keep clearing out. The oh, here we go. Zergal, you surrender or you die. You make choice and make choice quickly. Zargal has no patience to wait for the slow-witted city folk. Time to die, ugly hobgoblins. I believe these are elite. Okay, we're gonna pause. We're gonna go into inventory. Double click that one. Give it to her. Inventory. We're gonna have her. Servant awaits. Drink that. And pause. Yes. And drink that. Resistance! Oh. 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 No. No. no! All right. Feeling. Uh, load. Think carefully. Oh, skeletons. More skeletons. Nature uh, servant awaits. Yes, oh, omnipresent she is authority. No more magic. Left. I don't want to talk. C can I help you? Get rid of his broken sword. We're going to give him the Warhammer plus one. We'll give that. And we'll put that in the gym bag. Give that to, to Jahira for a moment. Give that to Kane. Okay, I think. Do we yes. still have protection from evil and detect evil? So we don't have Again? we don't have spells right now. So I'm going to quick save, and we are going to rest. Okay, we're good. So. Yes. We're going to try that fight again now that we're fully healed up. <laughs> that guy was the guy poisoning oh, everybody, so let's go after him first. <laughs> Go ahead and use this healing spell on him. And load a game. Alright, yes. we're gonna rest. Nope. We're gonna load. We're gonna rest. You do not dream often, but tonight the visions are vivid indeed. Long have you walked. But now you find yourself back amidst the stones of Candlekeep. Your former home looms before you, but the gate is closed and barred. Over the walls there is a candle in your old room, but as the light goes out, the brick surrounding the window closes together. The very walls conspire to keep you at bay. A familiar voice startles you. Though it is calm and caring, you cannot go back this way, child. You must go on. 
Gorion forms before you. And though his image should be comforting, it seems but a shade of his living self. He is dead in your dreams, as in life. The phantom of your foster father gestures toward the blackness of the wood, as though it should be inviting. Perhaps it is, in a way, but the traveling will be hard. As you think this, a smooth and obvious path becomes clear out of the corner of your eye. It seems meant for you, pulls at your very being, and promises to quickly lead you away from the life you once led. Perhaps this would be for the best, but it is a bit too convenient for your liking. You do not wish to dwell upon the loss you have endured, but neither should it be forgotten. Gorion smiles and fades away. The pull becomes a push, but you turn away, steadfast in your new direction. The way is not quite as clear, but it is sure to be interesting nonetheless. A whisper follows as you stride away. <laughs> Something vestigial and sinister that you recognize, but yet have never heard. You will learn. You don't look back. Interesting. So that's one of the dream story continuations you get. Um, you get them randomly after completing certain activities. That was the one you get after going to Nashgul. Um, it happens when you rest. So it didn't happen on the last random rest, but, it, you know. It just decided to happen this time, I guess. Okay, so. Yes? We're going to save again. So that we don't have to go through that For rest now. or that chat again. Oh, more skeletons. I will show you justice. My blade will cut you down to Bleed. My blade die. will cut you down to size. I feel so cold. Nature certainly awaits. Again? Resist and die! You're a queer fellow. Uh, we'll have her drink her potion. Huh. Let's see. Arrows. We'll collect those for. Agreed. What is the plan? With caution. We'll collect those for Emoen. Uh, more. Okay, nothing else. Emoen can't use what the composite longbows. Yeah, I didn't think so. You require aid? Okay. We'll try this Think again. Think carefully. These are Hobgoblin Elite, so that's what the problem is. Resist and die! Okay. Get rid of his help first. <laughs> What? What happened? Hmm? <sighs> Load the game again. Okay, we're actually going to end the video here and I'll try taking them on in the next video. So, I want to thank you for coming along. Uh, this has been Grim Plays Baldur's Gate um, Enhanced Edition. Uh, if you do enjoy these videos as much as I enjoy creating them, you know, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Uh, share it with your friends. I do appreciate it. It does help out the channel. And until next time, happy adventuring. <laughs>